show. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be someone else. Oh, really? Well, I, I can do Lionel Barrymore. <laughs> I fought for that flag and I'll not fire against it. <laughs> May we come in, Louise? It's embarrassing out here in the hall. <laughs> come on in, you two. Well, thanks a lot, Helen. You know, when you're in the shower, you never hear me complaining about your Sarah Vaughan. That's because my Sarah Vaughan sounds like Sarah Vaughan. Listen. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. <laughs> Yes, it does sound like Sarah Vaughan. <laughs> yeah, doing Lionel Barrymore. <laughs> hey, Willis, how about a quick game one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, uh, oh, I'd like to, George, but I I'd rather not. You see, I'm wearing a new sweatsuit, and I don't want to sweat in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Louise, Tom and I are going bike riding in the park, and we came down to invite you two to join us. Oh, I'm sorry, but George and I are expecting our little boy this afternoon. Oh, really? Uh, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Lionel a little old for uh, Dennis, the dumpy dump truck? It's not for Lionel. His name is Jimmy. He's a foster kid me and Weezy been sponsoring. He's coming here? Why didn't you tell us? Because it's none of your business. <laughs> anyway, he's going to be spending all of his time with me. Well, that's being a little rough on the kid, don't you think? <laughs> I can't believe he's actually coming. I can still see his picture in that ad we answered. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was such a cutie. Couldn't have been more than two years old. All eyes and so sad. <laughs> yeah, who could resist a face like that? And old Weezy started sending him $10 a month. Oh, that's nice. Mm. <laughs> and when we started getting successful, I started sending him more money. You know, it's a special feeling, giving to someone who really needs it. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, because, you know, I really need a video recorder. <laughs> See that, Weez, you spoiled my surprise. You got me a video recorder? Nope, but I wasn't going to tell you about it until later. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, is Jimmy looking forward to meeting George? Or have you warned him in advance? Well, actually, he knows all about us. We have been corresponding with Jimmy ever since he could write. It was like watching him grow. He even sent me the first little tooth he lost. It was so sad. He said he put it under his pillow, but the tooth fairy never came. Aww. So we sent him $100. $100? Where are the pliers? <laughs> So this will be the first time you've ever seen little Jimmy. Uh-huh. Last week, he wrote us telling us how much he'd love to come and see us. So we sent him a plane ticket. That's right. I'm going to take him all around New York, show him all the landmarks, you know, like Yankee Stadium, Metropolitan Museum, the Jefferson Cleaners. <laughs> oh, lucky kid. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Ralph. You kidding? Hey, Weezy, Jimmy's here early. Oh, I knew it. Tailwinds. <laughs> yeah, right, Ralph. Send him right up. Yes, Jimmy actually is my son. What do you mean, does Mrs. Jefferson know? No, I'm not going to give you $1,000. And hey, look, don't tell Jimmy none of that stuff about the pay elevator. <laughs> oh, this is just great. He really must have been anxious to get here. I wonder what he looks like. I'll bet he's cute. Yeah, he looks like me. <laughs> now, why should he look like you? After all the money I shelled out for him, that's the least he could do. <laughs> Florence! Come on out. Jimmy's here. He's on his way up. So soon, Miss Jefferson? I haven't had time to prepare lunch. Good. Then the odds are he'll stay. <laughs> that's it. I'll get it. Now, uh, he'll probably be a little shy and nervous. So let's make little Jimmy feel like one of the family. <laughs> Mom! 